Well, hello and a welcome. This is Nate. I'd like to say thanks for clicking on the video. Well, we have for you today a Commodore home. This is part of the Landmark Flex series. So this is going to be model 2LM2430R1. I know, kind of a long number. This is going to be a three bedroom, two bath home, 1,312 square foot. It measures 28 by 48. With this home, you get not only this beautiful outside, but you have yep, two refrigerators in this home. Of course, one of them you could swap out for a freezer, of course. You got a butler's pantry and a regular pantry. I believe I mentioned this is by Commodore Homes. We are at the 2024 Louisville Home Show. So this is made in uh, Indiana. So not too far from where we're at. In fact, I was just up in Indiana yesterday. See if we can get you something from the backside here. Not a lot to show on the back side of this one. So we'll head on in and we'll let the home speak for itself. So this is the day before the home show starts, doing a lot of last minute preparation. So we probably saw some pauses and things like that as I was uh, doing the out or intro out there. So we have our living room. Now this only has the eight foot ceilings in it. So your fan does hang a little bit low. Now I'm sure there's options to go with a taller ceiling. And for being a 1300 square foot home, this living room feels really large. Of course, we all want you to stay a while, but just not too long. <laughs> but you gotta make sure you stay till the end. We've got this dark green accent wall over here. So we got two lights above your dining room table. All recessed lights. There's going to be your attic access over there. And off of your dining room, of course, you've got the electric panel as we come into the utility room. Back door right there. Your washer and dryer hookups. We have our water heater. And then this one is going to be your furnace. We have an extra large island in the kitchen. Two outlets at this end. And you have the Whirlpool stainless steel appliance package. Kind of nifty. I've never seen these little cubbies underneath the island before. 
And there's even some cabinets under there. Let's see if I can move the chair for you. And we have an outlet at this end. So lots of outlets on your island. Of course, the stainless steel farmhouse sink. Now, we don't have drawers above our doors, but we have a stack of three right here. Nope, that's not your pantry, even though those are classified as pantry style cupboards. A nice silverware drawer. Can't say I've seen that before. Full of planter's peanuts. <laughs> so over here, got your coffee bar. I got my Mountain Dew. In the fridge. And I've got this really nice backsplash. And they've even updated the plugs once again. You got your USB A and USB C. So it's nice to see that they've gone even one step further. And here is your butler's pantry with your second fridge, right? Now, I don't know if that's standard when you order the home or not, if it comes with that second fridge, but you definitely have a space for a freezer or a fridge. And then we have the actual pantry. All right. In our first bathroom. So you got two actual drawers. Transom window above your tub. This is a single piece shower tub combo. There is a light above you in the shower. There we go. Well, that has a lot more light. <laughs> Looks really good. And into the first of the two bedrooms. Now this is the very first Commodore home I have ever filmed. I'm going to get to film a lot of homes or manufacturers that I've never got to film before. So far I've got a Penn West and a Commodore and a Ritzcraft. This is into bedroom number two. All right, where were we here? <laughs> they are doing a final inspection on the home to make sure it's ready for show. So now, being a smaller home, these are still pretty decent sized bedrooms. Of course, there's a lot of stuff in here, so it does make it feel a little bit smaller, but definitely plenty of room for your uh, twin bed.
Looks like they've got the same dark green accent wall in your primary bedroom. Really nice size primary bedroom. I mean, it is a queen size bed and you can tell just you got lots of space on each side. Still got plenty of room to put your dresser right there. Now this tub that they got in here, definitely a unique tub. You got these square sinks. Can't forget to say hello to Raiden. So this tub is kind of unique. You get a garden style tub built into your shower tub combo. Something I can't say I've seen before. So we have our linen closet. And on the back side of the bathroom is going to be your closet. A good size walk-in closet. Alright, so what do you think of the Commodore home? I really like this tub. And I'd also really like it if y'all would jump down there in the comment section and let me know what you think of the home. Really like the accent colors they used. What do you think of them? Would you go with a different color? What kind of upgrades would you like to see? While you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications, share the video with your friends and family, all that good stuff. And I will be back shortly with some price information. Thanks for watching. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the very first Commodore home I got to film. So there's a lot of really nice homes there. You know, Commodore had about three or four homes there. So I got to film a couple of them while I was there. So I look forward to those coming out. You know, we've got a lot of really nice homes that were there. Thinking probably shortly i'll do one of the single wides that i filmed you know adventure homes that had some really nice ones thinking i might do one of their single wides that they had there full sheet rocks got a front porch all that good stuff so look for that one we got to get some price information on this commodore home so this is the 2lm 2430r1 now there is a 2lm 2430r on their website it is a totally different floor plan. So, you know, we gotta make sure we're looking at the new stuff. Now they don't have the new stuff up on their website as of yet. I was hoping to get the email before I got to this point with the floor plan. So I had to take the picture that I took of that display out front and crop the floor plan out of it. That's why it's all cockeyed a little bit. <laughs> so, and then of course I had to blow it up. So. That just goes to show you how good a camera I got because it was a little tiny picture and I was able to blow it up that good. <laughs> so uh, anyway, with that said though, this one, based off the information that I was able to get from them, now mind you, this is only estimated retail price. We don't know what the freight charges are. We don't know what city fees, county fees, all that good stuff could be. I mean, there's a lot of factors that could come into this. Or So the estimated retail price on this one like I said, with all the different variations, you know, it could be quite a bit higher, could be a little bit lower, but estimated retail price, 
for the areas that Commodore Home Services, which is actually a pretty good size area. Let me, uh, if I can find the picture, I'll throw that up. Otherwise, just know that it's kind of the Midwest area and fairly far north. So, but anyway, estimated retail price on the 2LM 2430R1 at just under 1,400 square foot comes in right around $210,000. So that is for a modular home though. So you've got to figure in there's a crane, foundation, that kind of stuff. That's why it's a little bit more than what you would see some of the other homes about this size that are HUD standards versus state code standards. And that can affect the price depending on the state that you're having this home put into. So with all that said, though, I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you get down there, hit the like button, subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.